Last time, some of our young riders took part in the North Island Development Camp. Annie, to the base! To get it connected. I've actually learned a lot with Morris. He's a real good coach. Tessa and Bucking Brownie had one-on-one -on -one with ex-Olympian Morris. Yep. While there's been some progress, it will be a long road before this team gels. After the development camp, she hasn't put a foot wrong, but I can feel her when I'm riding that she wants to get me off, and that's just a scary feeling knowing that I can't trust her. We need to do some teamwork. At the moment, it's not happening. She likes to do her own thing a lot of the time. I do small circles to keep her between hand and leg, keep her moving. Otherwise, she gets moving and then she bucks. Tomorrow at Hawke's Bay Show, Stella and I are doing the Premier Junior. Premier shows, they build to the max height and it's very technical. And seeing I've only done two youngs and I haven't done a Premier yet, I'm just trying to stay confident this season. So I've still got a lot to work on. When Tessa's not riding her horses, she picks up a few extra shifts at the Pukitapu pub down the road for some extra cash. All good. Oh, right. Australia's pretty expensive and Mum pays for a lot of it, so I just like to chip in when I can because it just makes me feel pretty good that I'm using my own money. Annie and Sam are also competing at the Hawke's Bay a &P show and like Tessa, they have opted to compete in the junior rider. Sam's pretty prepared. She's been jumping the youngs, so it'll be nice for her to go down a bit and just have a relaxed show, hopefully. The Riverbank's quite a nice place to ride. You can go for a long time, and they all quite like it, being able to just you not know, have to go in circles. Competitors have been arriving all afternoon at the Tomoana Showgrounds near Hastings. The Carrington sisters and their team of seven horses have driven up from Takapau. Hey, shift over, please. Shift right over. Oh, there's their truck here and yeah. a truck in here. No good parking in the middle, mate. Looks like the first obstacle will be parking to Maury's satisfaction. You've got to be able to park in the front. Yes, yes. As long as they can park in the front. They can. <laughs> First off the truck is Sam's young rider horse, Gilbert. But Sam is a bit worried the year of non-stop rain and mud has flared up a condition known as mud fever. Just putting this mud fever cream on his legs. He's got really bad mud rash on this back leg in particular. He's quite sore. Yeah, it's a bit of an ongoing battle with him. It's a bit depressing, actually. I just can't seem to get it right. Kim Stallion is in better spirits and wastes no time on finding a spot to roll in. Horses like to roll for fun or scratch an itch. After the tack has been removed, rolling can ease irritation from drying sweat or relief from flies and insects. Roxy, darling, come on. Sophia and her team have made a five hour journey from Tamahiri for the first young rider class with premier height jumps. It feels like horse of the year. Naughty. Don't bite your friend. No, no. I've decided to put Roxy in the Young Rider and not Blue. I just want to keep Blue in the non-premieres just for the moment as he's stepped up just this season. And Roxy's very experienced, so I think she'll be best for the first premiere of the season. Blue, manners. The Junior Rider class is up first. Tessa arrives just after the first light, so she has plenty of time to walk the course. We have to get up extra early because we get to travel from home. It's not far, but you got to be here early and be prepared. One, two, three. It's a very open, wide track with lots of combinations where you've got to jump one and ride to the next. Like You can't afford to stuff up a fence because there's one straight after it, so you've got to be quite prepared. And he's also here bright and early and is putting studs on her horse, Sam's shoes. Studs are small metal projections that screw into a horse's shoe. 
When jumping, they dig into the ground to give the horse better grip on the grass. I would quite like to win, but there's some competition out there. The AMP show has run just about every year since 1863. There could be up to 30,000 people coming to the showgrounds today. An AMP show is different to most shows. The public comes and watches. It's got the showing, all the rides, the sheep dogs, and it's just got everything. I think it definitely sparks the horses up when there's lots of people watching and big atmosphere. Entrance and the junior rider will be jumping heights up to a metre 30. First to go is Tessa on Stella. They do a quick round, but the four falter will cost them making the jump off. Annie and Sam are next. Hello. It's going really well. She was jumping really good. Then just A, a and 9 didn't quite pick the legs up and we had them both down. Eight jump faults puts Annie and Sam out of the placings. Tessa managed to sneak in a ribbon for Stella. In sixth place was Tessa Mason, riding WP Stella. We were just one of the fastest four falters, which was really good. I couldn't have asked for more. It was a really good round. I enjoyed it. With the young rider next, jumps move up a couple notches to between a metre 30 and a metre 40. Because this is a premiere show, all the points won are doubled. An extra incentive for Sam, Kim and Sophia to perform well. I warmed her up like a donkey at Equifest off the bit and she was really good. She was really calm. Yeah. I think it's a nice course. It's not as big as what I thought it'd be. It should be okay for Gilbert. I'm first to go in the draw today. Mum gets way more nervous than me. Don't ask me if I'm okay. Someone needs to ask her. I'm back Don't we burst out that one? But it was good because we had the rail early, so then I was like, all right, kind of rode it like a jump off after that. Kim and Harry are next to leap into their round. All right. He jumped really well. I think I just let him travel a bit forward into that oxer that I had down. And then same again, that double, I just let him travel a bit far. But I was really happy with how he jumped. He jumped so far. Sam will be clear. If not clear, she'll be fast too. Oh, 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 that was really unusual for that horse. Not a great day today. Well, unfortunately, that's a second refusal there for Sam Carrington. Didn't even make it over jump one, which was fantastic. I think he's just quite sore on the mud fever is probably a valid excuse. That's horses, to be honest. One minute you'll be on top of the world, and next minute you'll be like I am today, just saying, oh, well, <laughs> it is what it is, really. What appeared to be a straightforward course caught most riders out. Only Sophia and one other rider made it to the jump off. Sophia and Roxy put pedal to the metal and came away with the win. Good girl. First place goes to Sophia Blackburn. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Done, Kim. Thank you. Kim and Harry's eight jump faults is still enough to put them in fifth place. 
Normally there's quite a few clears in the Young Riders, but I guess it's the first premiere of the season, so not everyone's ready for that first step up. I mean, my round was definitely a bit here. <laughs> yeah, when I walked, I didn't think it was too tough, but most people had a bit of trouble in there, so maybe we're all just <laughs> not on our game today. Sam may be out of the Young Rider, but next is the seven-year-old class, and she's entered her chestnut gouting, Odin. Here's the first horse I've fully broken in, so he's a bit tough at first, but very clean over the jumps, doesn't like touching poles. Can be a bit of a smart ass. <laughs> the clear round of the seven-year-old would be fabulous. Hopefully the jockey rides him properly. Odin's got his chance to impress Sam. Can he channel that attitude? First place goes to Sam Carradine by the Double J Odin. Seems he can. Yeah, he likes drinking from it. He's a big character, this horse. Like, he's a bit of a dork. <laughs> Further north, at Clevedon, Amy's young rider season has taken a major setback after her horse, Slinky, Took a tumble. He skidded through all the gravel and then fully rolled over on the concrete and kind of knocked himself out a wee bit and has come away pretty injured from that. You can see where he's like grazed his stifle up him. So that leaves me without a young rider horse. So we'll see what we can do with him, see if he can come back and jump, but if so, it'll be like probably more at the end of the season or next season. Mm -hmm. Also on the injury list is my buddy Courage, who's been unrideable with a scratched eye. He was here for two weeks and then we got him home for two days and he's back today just for a check over. And the vets are just gonna see how they feel about it. Should we take this off? Good boy. I don't think the mask is rubbing as much either. Good, that wound looks a lot better. Yeah. That's like a huge improvement in just a couple days. Good boy. I'm really happy with that progress so far. Eyes are always unpredictable, but he's been responding really well, so I'll stick with the word hopefully. <laughs> That's a good sign. Hopefully something, right? We see them reasonably often that they need to come in and get these lavage systems placed, which just allows that continuous infusion of antibiotics. It's going to be sort of weeks, not days, so we're talking sort of six to eight weeks. But as of today, I'm happy with how he's going. Come on, bud. The next show is Waikato World Cup. Oh, Coco, mate. Derek and Coco are going to do some extra training at the Whitford Pony Club. This is Coco's second rally. It's going to be good for Coco as she's still quite young and green. They really go in depth with the basics of the riding. That's it. Now make sure your chest is wide and your pelvis is wide for balance. Where your shoulders, Derek, the left one's forward, the left one back. You're pretty lucky today to have Jackie coming over. It's coaching. Now balance yourself, balance yourself, balance yourself. There you go. See, so much better. Use your back muscles, Derek. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, better. What I learned today with Jackie, it was right towards the middle of the jump, sit up more and lower your hands a bit. That's what I'll remember when I compete next week. Sit up, sit up. So you just about kissed his ears again. Yeah. So you don't have to be so forward, right? It's a 5am start for Derek to drive from Whitford to the Waikato show, which is held near Cambridge. There we go. All nice and cosy. See you down at Takipoto, Coco. They're aiming to be there in time for the first class of the day, the one metre. We've got 38 minutes left. Perched above Lake Karapiro, the Waikato show is being held at the Takapoto Estate. It's a premier show jumping event. Everyone's up bright and early to be ready on time. I'm currently plaiting up Roxy for the young rider, and Kath is over there plaiting Octi, and we're having a braiding competition to see who can do it fastest. I don't know who's going to do better in the young rider, but. I know that Roxy's faster if they're both in the jump off. So that's kind of my thought process for who I nominated today. Done. Done? Oh, nah. 
stallion Harry is also looking sharp while he waits for his income's turn and the young rider. I'm quite nervous about it, but he doesn't seem to be phased at all. He's always quite chill. Sam's unfortunately not able to jump here because Gilbert has got a bad case of mud fever. This is the first time I've done a young without Sam in the class before, and it's a little bit of a relief not having to compete against her. Derek and Coco are in the first class of the day, the one metre. I was actually pretty happy with how she went in the metre. There was just one unlucky rail, so sort of work on getting more control with her, make sure she's focused and turn on the jump so she doesn't knock any rails down. I think we would have been first if we went all clear because she was really fast, so yeah. The young rider class is later in the day. The riders, or studiously, walk the course. It's quite forward. Did you get that quite forward? Yeah, it's a forward seven. Because yeah. it's at the end of the course, it'll be sweet. It's quite big, but it's a nice course. So. Seven? Did you get seven? I got seven to four. Yeah. Seven to four. Five ABC. Six, six. Four yeah. down to five. five AB. Yeah, I think it'll be quite forward for Octi, but it'll be fine for Roxy. They're quite wide. It's a proper young rider. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. This premier young rider course is built to full height. There's a wall at four, followed by a treble. Tight double at seven AB to a Liverpool at eight, finishing over a big oxer at 11. And it looks as though we're ready to start the FMG Young Rider Series. Roll back six, four strides, seven AB, eight off the turn. Bending to nine, roll back to 10, seven strides to 11. Metre 30 to metre 40 for these young riders. Our first rider is Sophia Blackmore and rides her 12 year old mare called Roxy Bissy First fence was good, flew there easily, and then I started fighting with her straight away. Not a good start. The wall was actually really light. She barely even touched it, and that came down. Not a bad spot into the triple. Just doesn't make it out. She's definitely getting a bit fast and panicking now down this line. The Liverpool was definitely my fault. I got her way too deep today. I don't even know how she managed to clear the back rail. Sophia Blackbourne and Roxy at ECPH finished their round with 12 jumping faults in a time of 76.10. I wasn't really expecting that many rails, but I'm still happy with how she jumped. Hopefully Octi's run will go a little bit better. Now next rider in this young rider class all the way down from Kerry Kerry is 16-year-old in the Texas area. Lila jumped amazing around the young rider course. It was my first premiere on her and it was quite big. It was quite a step up for me. She had one rail down the line, which I let her run down to, which was definitely my fault. But I was really, really happy with how she jumped. Speeds to Live got herself a blistering time of 70.2 seconds, but the four faults will prevent her from going into the jump off. Number six for the draw, Kimberly Carrington, and she is riding a double J Typhoon. When he went into the ring, he felt like he was ready to go. Really energised. It rode quite nicely. Everything came up really well. But it was our second premiere of the season. It was bigger than Hawks Bay. Came round to number six, that plank, and I saw a really forward spot. And he jumped that really nicely, but uh -oh. that line to the double's quite short. After I heard that rail fall, I was like, right, I've got to go for it. Carrington and Double J Typhoon finished with four jumping faults and a good time of 70.74.
Kim's round is only half a second behind Liv. We are now halfway through the draw and we are yet to see it clear round. I don't know who's turning more Harry or me. Oh my god. Then rider Emily on horse Euro Champagne ups the stakes by jumping a clear. So that is our first clear round of this FMG Young Rider series. Sophia is last to go on her second horse Octi. Can they get a clear round? Which will force a jump off. They're very two different rides. I try to wipe my mind clean and focus on the next horse. Sophia's from Camaheri. I just got her a little bit far off coming in and just didn't have quite have the punch to make it out. Didn't quite make it over the first one of the combination as well. There was not a lot of gas left in the tank towards the end. And Sophia Blackburn finished with 12 jumping faults. Not my day today. She jumped really good. I'm really happy with her. Just not quite fit enough yet but she'll get there. She tried her little heart out and she did everything I asked for her, so I'm so stoked, she was great. Congratulations to our winner, Emily Ramson, riding a Euro Champagne. Only one clear round means no jump off. Placings go to the riders with the least jump faults. And the second place goes to Liv at area with four faults and a time of 70.21. I was the fastest four faulter, so I was lucky to come away with second. Third place goes to Kimberly Carrington and a time of 70.74. I love a good jump off, so I'm a bit disappointed, but I'm still happy. He <laughs> jumped really well. <laughs> Kim takes the top spot on the Young Rider leaderboard, with Liv not far behind in third. Sam, Annie and Sophia stay inside the top 20. And of course, Harry has to have a celebration roll. Next time, it's a rainy affair at the North Island Champs in Pukekohe. This is probably one of the hardest courses I've done because it's quite slippery. It's really wet. Just gonna take it easy this round. While it's great riding for some, I love these conditions, but it's a bit like being at home for him. It's disastrous for others. Karewa NZ on here.